Now, as all that was going on, a Tikawiti grandmother who's had the bottom half of her body amputated lost her accommodation allowance from ACC. We brought you the story of Bev McIndoe last night. She was hoping ACC would fund her room at the Waitomo Lodge for one more year while her fit-for-purpose house was built. But ACC won't extend the payments and Bev moved out this morning. National correspondent Amanda Gillies has the story. A final check before the final checkout. Bev McIndoe has now moved out of Room 16 at Waitomo Lodge, her home, for the past two years, forced to go because ACC pulled the funding for it. Alternate between feeling sick and thinking, oh, my God, I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> Bev simply can't afford to pay for the room herself and the room next door for her carer. The good thing about the situation was the fact that carers were right next door and they could come in at night, turn me, and so I don't get pressure sores, and, you know, that was great. We introduced you to the 58-year-old Tikawiri grandmother last night, her final night in the motel. She moved here in December 2021 after radical hemocorporectomy surgery to amputate the lower half of her body following complications and infections after a motorbike accident. She found out only last week that funding would be stopped last night. She feared being homeless. And when you tell this to ACC, what do they say? Don't care. Have you told them you'll be homeless? Yeah. And I what said, oh, I'll go and live in a, under a bridge then, and she's like, do what you want. In a statement, ACC told News Hub they won't continue to pay for the motel and that they told Bev this information in an email back in December. And they added that had trouble communicating with Bev about her accommodation for about two years. I've gone through my all-mail gone through everything, nothing right, there. Here we go. Around. Bev has now moved into a small home nearby thanks to a friend and a wheelchair ramp has quickly been built there today. The power wasn't on at the house I was supposed to, I'm going to. It's just been all sorts of hold-ups one after the other all morning. So hopefully, you know, by tonight we'll be in and OK. ACC lawyer John Miller says the situation is a disgrace and ACC needs to keep paying. Well, it's shocking. Uh, I saw it on TV and I was appalled at ACC doing that. Uh, they've got considerable resources, something like $50 billion at the back there, and surely they could continue this uh, to keep this woman in these circumstances for a, certainly a bit longer, much longer. He said Bev should keep fighting and file a review. We did request an interview with the ACC Minister, but we referred to the Associate ACC Minister, Melissa Lee, but then we were told she's travelling, so we asked the Prime Minister for his thoughts. Look, I don't know the details of that circumstance, but I'm happy to look into it, and I'm sure if you direct that to the Minister, um, they should be able to have a, a response to that, as well as ACC themselves. For now, that doesn't help Bev. Just the way it's ended is like... Come on. It was like they were finding an excuse to stop paying. And with that, Bev moved out in her modified wheelchair and with a heavy heart. Amanda Gillies, News Hub.